All right, I'm going to start this one off by saying I got a lot of black friends, okay? Most of them I got through playing football. They were my teammates. We've been to war together on the football field, loving to death. Now, with that being said, ever since I have had said friends, they have told me that I have a bad habit of putting them in white people positions. I do not fully understand what they mean, but they gave me the reference of, like, passing a cop on a two-lane road because he's going underneath the speed limit. Apparently, they ain't supposed to do that. It makes them nervous. Anyway, about a week ago, get a call from a buddy of mine. Play football together. Says, hey, buddy, I want you to come to a cookout. Hell, you ain't got to hit me in the face with a wet mop. I like cookouts. So I show up to the cookout. All right. As I step out of my pick up truck, I realize that the only three white things at this cookout is the salt shaker, the napkins, and me. All right. As I'm walking up, I am being greeted by his grandma and grandpa and his great grandma and grandpa and his 47 cousins. All right. Which there's no way for me to remember all these people's names. Anyway, there's a long table where the food's, where the food, everybody's eating at. Okay. They bring me over and set me down at the head of the table. I'm already, I'm already really uncomfortable at this point because I don't know what's about to happen. Well, they say the blessing and I get up to go fix my food. Well, I was not aware that at a black cookout, you do not fix your own plate. They fix your plate for you. Now, they bring me a whopping Dixie plate that some bitches round it off like this with barbecue, okay? And I'm going to eat it. Don't get me wrong. I don't waste food. I'm going to eat it. So as I'm sitting there munching away, you know, just kind of getting my bearings about where I'm at, these two ladies walk up to me, two of his aunties. With two different potato salads. Alright. They say we want to get your your opinion on which one of these is better. Now, apparently just because I'm white, I'm supposed to know the different calibers of mayonnaise. Well, I ain't finna piss nobody off at this cookout. Okay? So I ate both of them and I told them that they were just so damn good. Both of them, I, I couldn't pick one. Now, at this current time, I am almost in a food coma. Because I've ate so much because I didn't want to disrespect nobody's cooking there. And then his great-grandmama, Mama T, that's what they called her, she comes up to me with what looks like a five-pound piece of cherry pie. Now, let me paint a picture for you. I've got the meat sweats, all right? Got barbecue sauce on my shirt. I'm drifting in and out of consciousness, and she wants, she's bringing me a five-pound piece of pie. Now, I saw Friday After Nick's. I know what happens when you disrespect somebody's grandmama. I saw what happened to Craig and Day Day when they disrespect somebody's grandmama. You ain't have, you ain't finna be chasing me through these pines because we way out in the woods at this cookout. I'm white, not stupid. So as I eat this pie, which I'm eating this pie because I ain't finna piss off nobody, especially the head woman there because she ranked up top. That's great grandma. You don't mess with her. I finish this pie and I drift off into a Caucasian kycosis of a food coma. And I did just like this right here. Just like this. I went, whew, I'm full. As soon as I tipped my head back up, the table I'm sitting at is no more food on this table. I don't know how long I was out for. But somehow, I have, I'm still in the same chair. I have been dealt into a high-stakes spades game at an all-black cookout besides me. What the fuck is going on? How did I get here? At what point in my life did I take this turn to take me to where I'm at? And that, the cards is in front of me, and I got no idea how to play spades, okay? None. I got no idea. All right? I'm white. We play go fish and cornhole. All we did, we got bored one day, literally did the whitest thing possible, walked out in the field, got some corn, took our pocket knives and cut it off the stalk, all right? Put it in a bag, went over there, found some plywood in the shed, cut a hole in it, put it on an angle, and we toss it at each other. That's what we do. I have no idea what spades is. So as they give me the runaround idea what the hell is going on with this spades game, I realize, I look at my hand and I realize that I probably got a pretty decent hand. Well, they asked me, they said, Zach, how many books you got? Which they had just explained this to me now. I'm talking about just now. I said, it looks like I got eight books. Apparently that is the wrong damn answer for your first hand of spades ever because as soon as I said I got eight books, three Glock nines hit the top of the table. I've got every damn spade that you could possibly have and three other aces. Well, as I survived that round, I go to get up and one of his cousins come over and taps me on the shoulder and say, hey buddy, 
You want to go throw bones? I don't know what they're talking about. I ain't got a shitting clue what they're talking about. But I ain't going to piss nobody off. You got to understand, at this point, I am in survival mode. I am not pissing not one person off at this cookout. I do whatever they tell me to do. If they want me to stand on my head and blow bubbles out of my ass, I will do it. Don't hurt me. Okay? Now, I did not know bones meant dice. I was leaning more toward dominoes, which I kind of knew how to play from the Elks Lodge. But apparently... Bones means dice. I lost $36 so fast my fucking head was spinning. Okay? And apparently when they yell gator, that just code word for the white man loses because they just took my money and I just put some more down until I ran out of money. Which is fine. Made it through that one too. Now, as I'm slowly trying to make my way back to my truck, I went over to thank Mama T. You know, I thank, I thank my buddy. I thank everybody on the way to my truck. And I've got my truck in my sights. I am zeroed in on my truck trying to leave this place now i get to my truck i put my hand on my truck to go open it and there's a like a sense of relief that comes over me like i didn't piss nobody off nothing went wrong i went whew, i made it now as i open my door i feel a tap on my shoulder i turn around the whole damn cookout is behind me everybody there is right around my truck with mama t right there in the front and my buddy and he looked at me he said hey buddy next week's mama t's birthday you coming back and i looked at him bamboozled on what to say and the only thing i could come up with was you damn right i'm coming back because that's the best damn barbecue i've ever had in my life i don't know if you ever been to all black cookout but i'm gonna tell you something if you get the invitation you better take that shit because that is the best food you ever gonna get and the nicest damn people i scared shitless i ain't gonna lie i'm a big guy i was acting like a little bitch i didn't know what was happening but at the same time that's the most fun and some of the best people i've ever been around in my entire life i'm going back next week bet I told him, I said, y'all, y'all need me to bring something like some ice, because I ain't trying to cook with y'all. Y'all want some ice or like or like some uh you want me to go get my little cousin Kyle to wear his monster hats and shit and bring him? You know, so he'll he'll feel at home. He got wife beaters and stuff. Y'all, what y'all need? They told me I couldn't bring nothing but myself, me, and I, which I will be there. I'm white, not stupid. I ain't pissing nobody off. Shit.